Hey, good morning or afternoon, beautiful people. This is Samson Williams, and today I'm at the uh, Amsterdam Hotel, uh, not hotel, uh, Amsterdam Airport. And I'm going to give you a brief uh, overview of how they've automated many of the processes for taking in um, air travelers here at the Amsterdam Airport. So I'm actually on the other side of security now that I've gone through the process and got checked in. And now I actually need to figure out where my gate is. So enjoy the video. See you on the other side. Bye. Automatically check your bag. Those people are checking bags. These machines are checking bags. And you have less humans checking bags. So it's actually quite interesting. This is at the uh, uh, whatever Amsterdam airport. And it just occurred to me what was happening here. And I was like, huh. Self-checkout from the grocery store means self-checkout from the uh, shipping store, I'm sorry, for airport travel here in uh, Amsterdam airport. So I'm going to go to there so I can see what, how this actually works in real time. You went through this gate where you go to the machines to do the thing with your bags and get it on. So they switch off to tell you which airline you're with. And you can drop them off for KLM, Air France, or Delta, and I'll use the same machines. Very interesting. Talk about a way to partner to automate your uh, processes. And in case you're wondering, you can also check in via this way. Just get your bags and roll out. One of the things I wasn't entirely sure about when I went through the self bagging checkout thing and the automated gates was where my gate was. So I assume I went through the right gate to find my airport. Check out this mural behind me, by the way. Here in Amsterdam. Very cool. Bonus here at the airport. You can actually see the how many minutes it takes to walk from one gate to the next gate. So I'm going to uh, Washington. It's a nine minute walk from here to F6. Very helpful. I'm going to find F6. Yeah. Oh, no, it didn't. There it goes. F, four to seven minutes. I'm a slow walker. These are just pool seats that are in the, uh, it's like a teacup world. They're actually seats. That's very cool. So, back to going to where we're going. Sometimes you've got to stop and smell the roses or tulips here in the airport. I think it's a Spotted a WeChat pickup point here in the store in the airport at the Amsterdam airport. Um, airport, and you can pay with WeChat. And if you've never heard of WeChat, then you've got bigger problems. So stop at the liquor store here at the uh, airport in Amsterdam and they sell Cabana Club which you, comes from uh, a place called Cuba which we were actually just having an embargo on this week and so the only time I've had Cabana Club is when Maureen brought some back when she went to Cuba so if they have some older Cabana Club I'm gonna buy some they do have some Havana Club so we're gonna get some Havana Club because Last time I had any, Maureen brought some back from Cuba, and we're having an embargo against Cuba at the moment, so I want to buy some here in Amsterdam. Absolutely love the entrepreneurial spirit here in uh, the Netherlands. ING has this great little sign right there. Big pitch, here I come. And so... Just like you. So, one in a million on a planet of seven billion it means there's just there are seven thousand people who are as eager hungry and ambitious as you so keep that in mind and um, get you some mom's home cooking so you see that upon arrival see you guys on the other side and here's some a peek at some of your competition here in the Netherlands I'm signing off here from uh, the Schiphol Airport here in the Netherlands in Amsterdam as you can see automation is uh, at the forefront of everything they're doing here in Amsterdam uh, and I often say the U.S. is 10 to 15 years behind in automation or just technology, infrastructure, investing in general. So here's the next time you go to the airport, just say, is it as easy and convenient as the airport here in Amsterdam? 
Uh, also with automation comes, what do we do with the people who we've automated their jobs? So we talk about the future of everything. We're really talking about the future of automation and figuring out what to do with the humans. So that's a conversation for a later date. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. See you on the flip side. See you back in D.C., New York, etc. And uh, thanks for sharing. Peace.